Nintendo owes a debt of gratitude to Gunpei Yokoi, as well as working alongside Miyamoto on games like Donkey Kong and Mario Brothers, Gunpei also helped to refine Nintendo's hardware designs. He was responsible for true innovations, including the D-Pad, the Game & Watch, and, perhaps most importantly, the Game Boy. In fact, the Game Boy is the best representation of the design philosophy that Gunpei Yokoi sought to instill into Nintendo's offerings. Roughly translated, Gunpei's philosophy was known as lateral thinking with withered technology. Withered technology refers to technology that has been around for long enough to mature. This makes it significantly cheaper to manufacture. It also means that the tech should be well understood by anyone trying to use it. So, in Nintendo's case, game developers. This leads into the other aspect of the philosophy. Lateral thinking refers to using these mature technologies in new, unexpected ways. Take the Game Boy as an example. The technology used was all relatively old, like the 8-bit sharp CPU and the monochrome screen. However, this led to several advantages that helped the Game Boy take the market by storm. It was relatively cheap compared with the competition. It was surprisingly power efficient for a battery powered device. And it was easy enough to program for that developers quickly created a diverse library of games. Compare this to competitors like the Sega Game Gear or the Atari Lynx, who failed to beat Gunpei's machine despite featuring significantly more advanced technology. Gunpei Yokoi sadly died in a car accident in 1997, but his philosophy continues to echo in Nintendo's hardware. Consider the Wii, which was a generation behind in terms of processing power, but offered an experience so unique that it outsold its competitors for most of its lifespan. Gunpei may have had some... misfires. There's only one problem. It needs your eyes. Virtual Boy. But his philosophy has clearly had a profound effect on Nintendo and gaming hardware in general.